Hey guys, welcome back to the review. My name is Radairis and today we're gonna review a weekend getaway to Lake George. In this video, we're gonna be discussing the things you can do on Lake George and of course the cost for the trip because there's no better feeling than saving some money. If you like what you see, go ahead and click a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. This video is not a luxury travel video. We are traveling on a budget and saving some money. Now, let's get started on the good stuff. First thing first, transportation. Lake George is about 3.5 hours away from New York City. You can get there by bus or by car. But just so you know, if you decide to take the bus, it takes double the time. A round trip Greyhound ticket can cost you about $115 round trip. Yikes. I was lucky enough to go by car, so that did save me some money on car rental and a bus ticket. We spent $40 on gas and $22 for tolls round trip. Next, we have Airbnb and lodging. And here's a quick hack guys. When I went to Lake George, I did not stay in Lake George. For one, the hotels and Airbnbs in Lake George are a little bit overpriced. You're looking at a minimum of $150 a night for just a three-star property. Mm, no thanks. It's just expensive, y'all. I stayed in Whitehall, New York. It was about 30 minutes away from Lake George and the Airbnb, guys, the Airbnb was amazing. We were right in front of the water and we had a huge glass window facing the lake. This view plus other amenities all for $120 a night. And let me tell you about these amenities. Guys, we had free kayaks. That was included in the Airbnb purchase. And just so you guys know, if you guys go rent a kayak in Lake George, it's gonna cost you a minimum of $30 per hour per person. And we had it for free. And guys, it gets better. The Airbnb also provided a campfire for us to use that included a grill and wood. A waterfront Airbnb that includes free kayaking and a campfire, that's the dream. And guys, let me just get to the best part. The best part about Whitehall, New York is that we had the whole entire lake to ourselves. There was like no one there. It was peaceful, it was quiet, and there was no one there. Ah, oh, My main point and biggest tip here guys is that when finding a hotel or Airbnb, don't be afraid to go a little further away from the main tourist area. There are a lot of towns near Lake George that are just as good with good quality housing. All right, let's talk about some activities. We were in the Lake George area for three days and two nights. The first day, we stayed in Whitehall, New York, where we went kayaking. And we, it was great because we had the whole lake to ourselves. At nighttime, we set up the campfire, had some marshmallows, and watched the stars. On day two, we went to the Lake George town, where we went to have some wine in the Adirondack Winery, and just do some walking around slash sightseeing. So let's talk about this wine. The wine tasting was $8 per person, which included seven samples along with a glass to take home. They also had um, some snacks for like three to five dollars, but it wasn't anything crazy. Here's a quick tip. I suggest to try the Blue Twilight wine. I found it really good, so maybe you'll like it too. I don't know about you, but when I go wine tasting, the location is a big part of the experience. This winery didn't really have any outdoor scenery or a view. There's another winery in Bolton's Landing, but that one didn't really have much of a view either. One thing that I love about Lake George is that there are a lot of activities to do in the nearby area. You go wine tasting, kayaking, parasailing, um, mini golfing, you can even go to Six Flags if you're up for it. And for the last day, we went swimming at Hullet's Landing. 
We were originally gonna go to Million Dollar Beach, but we ended up changing our mind just because Hulla's Landing is closer to our Airbnb and it just has a lot less people. In total, we only spent $30 on activities. That's $15 each person. That's it. Last but not least, food. And guys, I'm all about saving money when it comes to food. Eating out can become expensive. Just be smart with it. I recommend to check out this place called Martha's Dandy Cream. They're really famous for their huge and delicious ice cream. Their small starts at $2.15. They also have really good fast food that's delicious and affordable. During an entire three day trip, we only went out to eat twice. We cooked our own breakfast and even packed our own lunch. Now let's do some quick math. We spent $150 on food and drinks, and that includes grocery store shopping and going out to eat. If you want to break that down a bit more, that's $75 per person, which equals $25 a day per person. And that is what I call saving money. All right guys, let's just add it up. The total for the Airbnb was $120 per person. Transportation was $31 per person. Activities came out to $15 per person. And food came out to $75 per person. The grand total cost for this trip was $241. And that's a wrap. Now you could go to Lake George for three days and spend less than $250 there. If you like the information I shared, make sure you hit a like and subscribe to my channel. I would also love to hear how much you spent on your Lake George trip. Did you meet your budget? I'm gonna leave you off with a song called Vamos a Cantar. It's a little Spanish song by El Espíritu y En Verdad. Enjoy guys, see you next time, bye.